Ambic uh, makes microcontrollers. We make system on chips for uh, endpoint devices. So battery powered devices, wearables, hearables, things that go in your ear and IoT. What we're showing here today is our new product. It's called the Apollo 510B. It is a Cortex M55 based uh, product that's focused on accelerating uh, workloads like AI, but it also includes things like GPUs and uh, uh, all the interfaces you need to produce a, a wearable. So what the demo is showing, um, because we don't want to be unfair, we're comparing ourselves to our last generation. This is a Cortex, uh, this is an Apollo 4, which is based on a Cortex M4. So from a power point of view, the Apollo 4 was already 10x better than its competitors. The Apollo 5 is three times better power than the Apollo 4 and 10 times faster. So 30 times better than the, our last generation, which is already beating everybody by a lot. And to demonstrate that, we're running a very simple model. It's called image classification. It's one of these things where you show it something that says it's a horse, it's a dog, whatever. And uh, we had it running just fine on Apollo 4. This thing was uh, running at about five frames per second, which is enough for most applications. So like a security camera, five frames per second, fine. On the Apollo 5, same, work, same software, I didn't do a thing to optimize it, just put it on Apollo 5. We're doing 10 times faster. So here you'll see frame rates, 4.8, roughly 48, right? Not doctored, this is actually, this plug it in and goes. And we're also measuring power. So here the power, which is already a spectacular 2100 uh, millijoules, microjoules per inference, uh, drops to around 760 something. This is why we were able to do it. Uh, it's because we lower the voltage on the chip below where it's supposed to work, and it still works. And so by lowering that voltage below where your physics professor said, don't do it, we were able to reap the, the power benefits from that lowering. It's got all the RAM that you need, all the non-volatile you need on board. It has Trust Zone. Apollo 510, this, this green guy is already beating our competitors by about 10x. Apollo 510 is so small that I had to kind of exaggerate scale a little bit to show it on the ground. Ambic has been working with TSMC for over a decade. The nature of our relationship is very special. Our claim to fame, the thing that makes us famous is our ultra low power. It's beyond ultra low power, it's ludicrously low power. We don't beat our competitors by 10%, we beat them by 90%. And one of the things that makes that possible is how closely TSMC and Ambic have worked together to develop these processes. Like, it's not just design, it's not analog, it's testing, it's how you uh, check your wafers. We've had to develop that alongside TSMC since day one.